In this video, I'll use Occam's razor in three kind of new and secret but inevitable ways. We live in a world of theories and reasons, concrete and lead paint, heart attack burgers and pain medication. We get hurt, we get better, get sick and get weird. Out of gas, you get a ride back home in a go-kart, covered wagon, V-mobile and or motorbike. Life just means it all somehow makes sense. The bricks stop the voices, the blinds hide the sun, the bottles stack up and your LP goes down. In the 20,000 year old pinch, you'd still castrate cro with just one reference to Tub Girl on Ice. Your DNA is ancient and strong, but can't withstand the warmth of those atom combat. History is new and complex, but our brains have stayed roughly the same. Before high school or soundboards were invented, we found immediate community by looking towards stars or mountains or leaves or taints or the eyes of one another. Each of us lived, died, story told, and fought for a non-anonymous community that told us what was true or false, right or wrong, true and right, false and wrong. Meaning was belief in deities or smart lily pad design. Death maybe meant a return, not an end. Lying bad, healing good, capitalism copied us from nowhere, simple times. And today is just so complex. Actually, no. Occam's razor, it's not complex at all. Person bad because did weird thing, because said weird thing, because wants to do or say weird thing. All that's changing is the world. The new Dubai building demo, or Wes Anderson movie playing, or reasons why person doing or saying weird thing isn't actually so bad play in front. Appearing not bad gets other human brains to approve of a person. The game becomes whatever you do, be sure to appear not bad. And while appearing not bad, the game also becomes get people to believe you're not only not bad, but the best, the least bad, the most perfect, the savior, the messiah. Tell stories like you're preaching, like you believe them too. Stories that establish a a pristine true or false, right or wrong, true and right, false and wrong. Fight my horrible enemies like it's 18,000 BC. Live for me, die for me. Human brains still eat stories and enemies for breakfast. And you know what? They're built to. Brains are structured to believe they're doing what's right, even when all their neurons are screaming that what's going on is wrong. No innocent fan club could survive without disbelief suspension. The touted morals are the same. That in 90s Bosnia or 70s Cambodia or otherwise, violence good because some groups of humans are not actually made up of humans. Occam's razor, if someone is telling Telling you a group of people is inhuman, they're probably doing it hoping you'll carry out their inhumane fantasy. And assuming you're that far along. Occam's razor! If every neuron in your body says what you're doing is wrong, maybe don't keep teasing disbelief to the point that all you need is a parroted narrative, a community, or even just someone's approval to know in your heart and your loins that you're doing what's right.